Welcome everybody to another live duel. I'm Josh. I'm Tyler. And I'm playing Pure Variant Exosister with the brand new support. Absolutely. And I'm playing Pure Variant Generator with no support. Yeah, they are. Oh God, they haven't gotten support in forever. Last one was Loptier, is that right? Yes, that was Loptier in Eternity Code. Yeah. So what we mean by Pure Variant, if you haven't watched any of our live duels previously, I have nothing but the Exosister XC's monsters in the extra deck, no hand traps. You've got nothing but uh, Jormungandr in the extra deck. Correct. And I've got a few tech cards in the main deck, and you've got a few out of archetype tech cards in the main yeah, deck. Yeah, and then we're trying to bring out the best of the archetype. So I'm going first. Now, with the new support, it's very exciting because I can build a proper board. Yes. So normal summon the Stella to then give me additional normal summon uh, of ooh, special summon of the uh, the Sophia. Sophia gives me an extra draw. She is busted. Activate the packs, pay the 800 to then uh, search and potentially special summon. Right now, it could potentially be Martha, the brand new card. Um, go ahead and XC summon into, it's either going to be the Michaelis or the Caspatel, um, which is going to be the Caspatel, which would then search the the Martha. That is the only monster, or unless it's Elise. Mm -hmm. They're the, generally the only two monsters that you want to search. It's going to be Elise in this case. She's a free special summon from the hand. So if you're not familiar with Exosister monsters, they're all XC's monsters. And they can now swarm the field like crazy. XE should never be able to swarm unless no. they're like doo-doo. Yeah. So Martha comes out there because I control an uh, XE's monster, <laughs> Exorcist XE's. Special summon itself, special summon Elise from the deck along with it, which is a free XE's summon. Bring out the Michaelis, which would uh, give me another Exorcist search, which would be a spell or trap in this case. Um, and then Martha allows me, you know, if any card is moved from either graveyard, I can use her to XC's summon. So she's very, very powerful. Um, go ahead and uh, XC's into the Magnifica. I have my uh, Verdant, I believe it, it's called. Um, I'm feeling very, very good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This... That's such a good turn for you. And Generator is a deck that needs to go first. Yes. So I'm not feeling good. You MST the uh, whatever the, the continuous power. I Can't always forget what it's. V yes, the I've already forgotten. And then I boss stage Gamicio, your your big one. I remember this. And I wasn't anticipating to get Gamicio. Well, it's a big monster. It's a big giant monster. If it's a thing, hey, look, I I get it. It's a level nine. It's a big. I think it's a level nine. It's, it's not a level nine. A level I I don't have a level nine card. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. use it if I had. But uh, that all that work to uh, just get Kaiju. Just to get Kaiju. Kaiju is your most hated thing. Hate it. Kaiju and Rika. So I open yep. Lop Deer, which is my, my best starter for going second. Special summon out the uh, what's the big bloke? Ha ha. Um, <laughs> <laughs> ah, but still not that great on his yeah. own because he requires two generator monster or token to tributes to activate its effect. Um, and right now I've only got him. For those who yeah. don't know what generator do, um, they're based around their field spell boss stage. When your opponent draws a card, I get to special summon a generator from the deck and then get as many tokens as I want. Mm -hmm. um, and I get world legacy monstrosity, which allows me to special summon a level nine from my hand. Um, and now I'm just going to go into Yormi. Because then I can play going second on your turn, which is the best thing that could have happened. Yeah. Go into my boss, Jormungandr, where I can detach. Each player draws one, and then they attach one from their field or hand to it as material. Very, very powerful. Jormungandr can definitely swing the tide of the game. I believe I'm just going to give you Gamesio here or I whatever. I think so, yeah. yeah. And then because you've drawn, boss stage will activate, yeah. which allows me to special summon one from my deck, and I get my tokens. Absolutely. And the tokens only last to the end of that turn, but I've stupidly got Hella. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot I what can, Exosister yeah, were. Because I never interact with my own graveyard normally. Mm. Um, so I trade in that to get out Ha. I'm, I'm just in such a good spot here. Um, yeah. Such a good spot here. I'm just checking battle positions if I can put Ha in defense mode and I can. Yeah. So uh, when I was watching over this, yeah. I realized, huh, I didn't activate Martha's effect. You didn't. Because Exosister... Uh, in, in general, very rarely do you actually get their inherent XC's summon effects. Correct. Martha's the only one that's really good with it. And I just completely forgot Martha did that. Yep. So, uh, I, yeah, I let you have that. That was really <laughs> stupid of me. Yeah. Just a big, big misplay. But no. it was, it, it's crazy that I had one of my best first turn boards mm -hmm. and you completely wiped it for the most part. Yeah. Um, MST and, uh, and then you set up your own board. Yes. And I just, I'm feeling so defeated at this point. I misplayed with the Martha. I don't even think I realized it at this point. You didn't. I don't think you realized until after filming. Yeah, it was because it was in post and I'm like, wait, 
why don't I activate Martha? You clearly moved a card from the graveyard. Yeah. Did that would trigger any of the exorcist monsters? Any of them. And I don't know what on earth I was thinking because you hadn't negated her effects. It was just a bunch of tomfoolery. Yeah, pretty so, much. A very disappointing play on my part. If anyone that does play Exorcist, I greatly apologize because that is absolutely my fault. It Misplays was, will happen. It is called the misplay for we, a reason. Yeah, we've named our yeah. channel that for a reason. Cool. Now, everything thus far has happened in the standby phase <laughs> because uh, draw immediately after that standby. That's kind of where um, boss stage will activate. So I, I am allowed to search the, uh, not search, the activate the pot of extravagance. Risky then, play. Yeah, because I heart it. Yep. Do activate the Vadas to uh, special summon two from the deck that mention each other in their text, which will be Sophia and Irene. Um, can't be uh, negated by Nidhogg because it's not an inherent, inherent summon. summon. So I'm starting to build a board. Um, but it is a bit tricky. You do have an army gate. You do have the quick effect for um, Yormingander. Mm -hmm. So it's trying to play around those. I've used. Wait, what? Norm Yormi doesn't have an Omni Negate. No, uh, quick effect. Oh, uh, I've already used it. I've, oh, I've already, already used, used it. it. Okay. Yeah, I've got nothing to interact unless you hard inherent summon, which you don't do. Okay, so I, I bring out the bounce. Yeah. So Asafu is really good with that bounce. Generally, it's going to go sort of you know the big boy Yormingander. Yeah. Uh, he's got all that that meaty material underneath. Um, yep. Now you're going to activate a hard to negate oh, and destroy. It was a hard summon. Uh, yeah, it was a hard it summon. Must have been, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm trying to force stuff out. I still have enough for another um, XC's summon, uh, but you still have the Ha from what I can no, tell. No, I've done Ha. Oh, you've done. So I'm good to go. Yeah, you are absolutely good to go. Good yeah. to go. And then uh, your, my issue with Yormi is he's great offensively. No, he's average on offense and has no protection. Mm. Go ahead and special summon the Martha. And like you guys saw in turn one, she's busted. She brings out Elise straight from the deck, which allows me to potentially go into another XC's monster, go into Magnifica if I want to. It gives me the options to play, whereas Exorcist, I remember when we were playing Exorcist when mm -hmm. they first came out and Grand Creators, they were not good. No, they were, they were bad. Yeah, it was just like they could barely XC someone. I had to rely on like Line of the Light Spirit or something. And you had to rely on Dine me interacting spirit. with my graveyard. Now you don't even need that anymore. Yeah, I'm just like, I don't care. I'm going to XC summon. And now it's just a bonus if I do interact mm. with my graveyard. Yeah. So here's one of the brand new cards, Returning Her, which is very, very good. It has uh, potentially, uh, it has three effects. I can uh, choose two of them. Break my heart. Um, going to banish the Jormungander and then going to banish the Ha. So... This is a very interesting game one because I had the best board I've had. You clear it. You have a really good board. Incredible board. I clear it. And then I build another one of my good boards. Yeah. This was very, very back and forth without UTKing. So I don't know if you're able to build that board back up because you've gone through a lot of resources. Here's the issue with Generator. Once that board is gone, you are dead in the water. Yeah. And you have no way to recur. You have no way to draw. You have no way to search. Or you, you rely on your opponent drawing. If they don't do that, which why would they do that during your turn unless you force it, you are useless. So I'm pretty sure here, if I don't draw a lop deer, I am dead. And there goes, yeah. there goes so the that declared an attack, get rid of the boss stage. I'm making sure your whole board, whole board's dead. is gone. And uh, I don't know. Like, I'd be shocked if you did anything. Part of Avarice. I top deck the POE. That's the best POA, topic. P -O POA. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking a Path of Exile. <laughs> very, very good card to top deck. It does allow you to potentially make the plays you want to make. Um, I do go ahead and... So one of Magnificus' effect is basically just tag out with one of its materials. The reason I did that is because uh, Michaelis gives me a... Uh, banish. A banish. A turn it's summoned. Yeah. So just trying to... To make sure that you don't play is exactly what I'm and trying to do. And it's it. just game. So I, I I quite liked that one, honestly. I know like the... I didn't give you a chance to play in... in but in I still got a full board time. with uh, Omni Negate, an Interrupt, mm. and I took one of the cards on your field. Usually when you see Generator, it's maybe one half. Yeah. And a boss stage. Yeah. Kind of it. That's kind of it. Yeah. So that was real cool to see. You know, the Hella came out with the Ha, with the Nidhogg, with the Jormungandr, and we were able to actually see what they could do because you did use the Nidhogg, you yeah. did use the Ha, you did use the Jormungandr. I threw everything but the kitchen sink, and <laughs> it clearly was enough. Dark War Dealings. Now, this is a bad sign. Dark War Dealings is an amazing tech card because of boss stage. It forces yes. you, if you're going first, for me to draw. Yeah. 
obviously using dark war dealings without the boss stage yeah. there's no boss stage yeah it was it's great when i got the fields for that but i didn't but i did draw loptia yeah so that allows me to go into Mardell, who allowed me to search a generator card, which should be boss stage. Yeah, there's yeah, boss there stage is. there. So it is unfortunate. Dark Lord Dealings died so boss stage could live. <laughs> but Ooh, three back row. Now, the issue with generator is all there in archetype back row sucks and is all about... <laughs> I always joke on this channel about Josh going second and opening Twin Twisters. Twin Twisters, let's go, baby. Get rid of the boss stage so you do not get the special summon from the deck. God damn, that feels good. I just... <laughs> and I know... So here is when I was telling you about the rule. Yeah. Where if it leaves the field before it resolves, it's gone, unless it specifically states otherwise. And I remember you holding it, it's like, no. <laughs> oh, no, surely. Surely not. But it was the tokens that it works with. Even if it leaves the yeah. field, the tokens rem uh, get destroyed in the end phase. So um, a very, very good thing, knowing that uh, you don't get to summon... But the fucking summon limit. Yeah. This is an extremely hard card to play around. But especially because a lot of what I'm doing is hard XC summoning because I'm not relying on you moving cards from the mm -hmm. graveyard, which means I need two monsters and you fucking hate chesting me. How dare yeah. you? Um, which was, that would have been a great out yes. to it because I could have Absolutely just been swung, great got rid of the summon limit and continued playing. But because I need, I, I have to summon the two. I can't XC summon at that point. You do the same thing against Time Thief very well. Yeah. And... All of a sudden, I'm just kind of, okay, we'll have fun playing your summon limit and your Mardell. Pretty much. I can't do anything. Now. Right? Yeah. But then at the same time, what the fuck do I have? All I have is Mardell <laughs> and summon limit and most likely a bunch of bulk level nines in my hand that I can't do anything with. You went straight to battle phase. Yeah, so clearly. Then... If I've got anything in my hand, it's level nines that are dead. Yeah. it's uh, That's the, the issue with running a, a deck like this with so many high level monsters. It's... They're really dead in the hand. So that's why I have to run one of everything except for Har and Nidhogg. Yeah. Um, like I run Kujikiri Curse. Mm. Like I, I run the level nine version of Trade-In essentially. Mm. And I run three of it so I can, you know, discard them. But it's not enough. It's never enough. I yeah. always have dead cards. Never enough. Um, so and go ahead. You um, yeah, banish the uh, the summon. It should be banished. I don't know why it's in the graveyard. Because we forgot. Yeah, we we. it's not even a you problem. I have also have forgotten. Yeah, we, we just forget. Because um, I know there's a rule in, in professional TC, uh, TCG where it's on both players to maintain game state. Mm -hmm. So even if you put it in the graveyard, it's on me to also say, hey, dickhead. That's banish banished. It. Yeah, so also my fault. But uh, I'm looking real fucking fly right now because... Uh, is that the Returnia? Yeah. Is that the infamous That's Returnia? Returnia. Now, so, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, Returnia uh, probably didn't need to be activated here because... The way the effects work, I probably could have plussed more if I used it in your turn, but mm. it's whatever, you know, I'm just, you know, excited to blow my load in this turn. Absolutely. Because I just want to, I just want to reiterate. So I opened with Mardell, um, Boss Stage, and the three cards I had set were HSD, Summon Limit, and there can be only one. And within one turn, you've completely cleared all of them. Mm. These decks are not the same. No. And that seems to be the common theme with Generator and every deck yeah when we when you first built generator yeah they seemed like they had so much potential yeah they had the the omni negate they had the inherent inherent negate. summon negate they could special summon they could search they were big boss monsters yeah uh they just can't keep up yeah and then they the can't. moment you realize that once you get rid of boss stage once yeah it's just such an uphill no. battle form i'm climbing everest Look, while you are running up you are now like i've got my magnifico yeah. which is in itself two banishes and there's game there you yeah. just can't play through two banishes at this point and mst is absolutely dead it is what it is not the same we hope you guys enjoyed that video if you guys want to see any more live duels deck builds podcast episodes tournament videos or anything that you guys may want to see let us know in the comments below please make sure to leave a like please subscribe Tell us what you guys want to see. We love hearing from you guys. 100% every comment matters. We read every comment on the channel. On, on any video. Old, new, old, new, new, old, old, new. <laughs> we read every comment. Um, Even if we don't respond to it, I give it a heart. 100%. Everything. 100%. We read all of it, whether we respond or not. Um, if you can tell your friends about us if you know people that like Yu-Gi-Oh, please recommend it this started out as a passion project or a hobby and it's we're just getting bigger and bigger and bigger so, yeah so that's about it from from us at the misplay so we hope to see you guys in the comments and we'll see you guys in the next video deuces <laughs>